So the second uh, thing now that we are going to draw, let's start by drawing the uh, plate and the plate uh, that we want to model over here, this will be uh, using solid as a solid part, using solid elements. So this is the end plate dimensions, it's 280 by 200 and it has four holes uh, inside uh, this plate and it has a thickness of 10 millimeter. So I go ahead and click on uh, create a part. Let's call it plate or maybe perhaps even better. Let's call it end plate. This would be a 3D part, deformable, and we are going to use the solid option. Uh, we are going to use the extrusion option for drawing this. And I will give it the approximate size using the height, which is 280, uh, which is the maximum dimension of the plate. I'm going to click on continue. So now I just need to draw the plate. So this, this is a plate. So the easiest way would be to draw uh, just a rectangle. So I click on the rectangle and then I'm going to use the dimensions here. So this is 280 by 200 millimeter plate. So I can go from the one corner, uh, negative 100 in X and negative 140 in Y. So this is one corner and then the other corner will be 100 in X positive and 140 in Y positive as well. So right now I have my plate. So the plate is done. Uh, I don't need to draw another rectangle. So uh, of course, as we have seen, the plate has holes in it. So we have two options. We can go ahead now and uh, finish this uh, sketch and click done and then extrude the thickness of the plate. And then later on, we can do uh, the cut in the plate for the whole locations. Or we can actually right now, we can uh, draw the holes right on the sketch. So I can do using like the create circle over here, I can draw uh, the holes in the sketch. And then when we are going to extrude, so are pretty much you are going to extrude the solid part of your section. So let's actually do that uh, for now. So I need to locate uh, the hole. So let me check again the dimensions. So the hole uh, would be from the center line. If we are drawing everything from the center line, uh, it will be negative 50 in the uh, X direction like that. And it will be in the vertical direction. That will be 280 minus 70 minus 70. So this is minus 140. So that's 140. So 70 in this direction pretty much as well. So if I go back, so from the center line, the center line of the of my hole will be at negative 50 X and 70 in Y. So I click enter and now I have the center. Now I need to provide another uh, point on the perimeter. OK, so this other point, well, you can this is based on the diameter. So if you don't want to put this or do the computation in your head, you can just click anywhere and then you will have a hole and then using the modify the dimension. So if I click on add dimension, I click on the circle and I click again. And right now I can put the actual dimension, which is the radius. So uh, this hole will accommodate a bolt that's 16 millimeter in diameter. So this means that typically this hole is like two millimeter wider. So I will put not 18, sorry. So this 18 will be the diameter. So now we're talking about the radius. So that would be nine. So I click enter. So right now I have uh, the bolt hole as you see over here. Uh, then we need to do the rest uh, of the bolts. Uh, you can do the, uh, let's exercise here the mirror option. Okay, or we can do actually here uh, the linear pattern. So if I click on linear pattern, I can select, this is the entity that I want to do a pattern for, and I click done. And then uh, over here, you just need to specify the number and spacing in each direction. So first let's uh, select the first direction. So my direction here is this horizontal direction. And I want to see just uh, two instances with a spacing of 100 millimeter between. So that's fine. In the other direction, direction two, I just need to select the direction, which is already correct, but just to make sure. So in this vertical direction, I want two as well. 
and the spacing would be 140 but I think it's already drew it like in the opposite direction so you just need to click on this flip so that you have it in the right location uh, and I click OK I'm satisfied with the, with the drawing so that's fine so right now I drew everything with the holes and everything and now I'm done I just need to click done and right now I need to extrude specify the depth of the extrusion so this would be the thickness of the end plate which in our case is 10 millimeter and I click enter OK so right now you have your plate the other option that we spoke about uh, earlier uh, is pretty much to draw the plate without any holes and then from these other options you have here uh, create cut extrude so if you select this one if you select this one pretty much you are going to select a plane it tells you to select a plane to to draw to draw a sketch and then this sketch will be extruded as a cut for this part so for in this case let me just go through it uh, i will not do it actually but just to show it so i can select this plane i'm going to draw over here and then you need to select like an edge that will appear uh, vertical and on the right so let, let's say this edge over here just to show the sketch so right now you have the sketch uh, so assuming that we don't have the holes in this uh, scenario then you will just need to start drawing the whole locations and after you finish drawing the whole locations you are going to say done and then you are going again to specify the extrusion depth of this hole but it will be a cut extrusion not an actual build in extrusion so i will cancel this operation because we already have the holes in place so in the next video we are going to uh, do the bolt part